let's begin the third part which is the reflection any object on a line or against a point so I am gonna start with GeoGebra Classic 6 and here you can create a shape which you want to reflect so uh, first very basic example we can consider any polygon so I'm gonna consider a regular polygon hit anywhere two points and the number of vertices three and your triangle is ready you can create any polygon now when you have this toolbar you can see here are the shapes then circle and then here you will see reflect about a line reflect about a point reflect about a circle also so all these options what we have discussed so far translation rotation the reflection and dilation you can see it from here only if you don't remember the commands but definitely you can uh, enter the commands which you want to use so as you can see uh, reflect about a line so you need a line first of all so to generate a line what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a line or a line segment whichever you like so I'm gonna hit the first option on this third toolbar line and then click anywhere two points and then your your line is ready now you have a line you have a shape so what do you have to do now just go here and reflect click on the first option so select your object first of all then select the line and your reflection is done now what you can explore with it please don't uh, click back here please go here and click on move now you want to move your triangle or you want to fix your triangle let's say now you can move line so a question can be generated like you have two shapes and students are going to figure it out what is the line of reflection so for more details what you can do uh, let's say you have a point here this point and these two points and you can create segments so that students can see what is happening to these things look right and you make them a little bit maybe lighter in shade so go to settings change its color or style so here you can change the style and align thickness same thing you can do with the other one now you have you can explain it better or they can figure it out like what is the line of reflection for these two shapes so look i'm changing one and i can also change my line so this way you can create your questions uh, based on coordinates given two shapes and then asking line of reflection or give one original object and ask for the reflected uh, coordinates so just I'm changing the color for this so that you can see it in a different color so if you think students should not change your triangle the good thing is you can always hide these points so when you hide these points student will have no chance to actually move these points so just click and show object done so they would be only changing the points which are visible there so look so you can change it and see how reflection is working so this is one thing which you can definitely rotate reflect or whatever you want to do you have another option as well reflect about a point so let's try this as well reflect about a point so I'm gonna click reflect click on the shape click on a point for example D and then you're gonna see your reflected image as here so you have you change D and see it's changing so both ways it's gonna work reflection about a line or reflection about a point so keep trying okay uh, let's finish the last part as well which uh, we have not yet covered so it's called dilate dilate is used to enlarge 
uh, any shape by a scale factor and you have you also need to consider the center of your dilation so as you can all also type here as the command dilate and then you are going to see what are the options available for you so you have a dilate object then factor or the second option is dilate object dilation factor dilation center point let me show you uh, i personally use this trick to animate to create some animations but well, let's try to just enlarge or reduce the size of particular shapes so before i do i have to consider an object so I, either i can actually uh, bring any image so i can actually let's upload one image from our saved images okay i have hexagon here so i have i can fix its size which wherever i want and look at this so now what i'm going to do i'm going to hide a and b so that i don't change the size of these or this particular shape but i have name of this shape as picture one and i want to continue like picture one but as you see dilate we need a dilation factor and you know we always work in a smart way or interactive way so i need a scale factor which should work dynamically so that i can change it from zero to one or negative one to one whichever way you like so i'm going to create a slider and i'm going to choose values you can write down its uh, name as a scale so minimum value let's say minus two maximum value two and then you are done so you have your scale factor ready with you and now we can continue with the process one more thing we are missing that is the point so let's create a point as well point a free point i want to use so that you can move that particular point anywhere so let's say here is my point so now you type dilate the i i'm going to choose the second option so dilate object as picture one dilation factor is my scale and dilation center point is c and i'm done right so we can change its name if you want picture two yeah so now we let's explore what is happening look at the scale 1.1 what I'm going to do, I'm going to put C in the center, right? And then we are going to see what is happening with the scale. Look, so if the scale is 0 0.2 and 0, 1, 1, I know it's not visible. So let's continue. Look at this scale 1 exactly matching the shape. And if you increase it, the size is going to increase. So right now I have set my scale as from negative 2 to 2. You can increase by any factor you want. And you can explore if you change your center point as well. So look what is happening here. So this is negative 2. Right? So I hope uh, you can try because both things are important here the center of rotation and the scale factor but remember to use this slider because this is going to make your life much easier and you will have freedom to create questions based on either scale or center and you can just try it on your own first of all and then see what is happening let me show you another example which i use so i'm going to take one point or two points so let's say one is here and second is here okay and i will de dilate uh, my point d with center e and you will see what is going to happen here so dilate and dilate point d dilation factor you can definitely try scale and dilation center point is e now I want to show you what is happening. So right now scale is 2. So let's change the scale and see what is hap what has happened to point D. So can you see the point D? Let me just hide picture 2. 
picture one as well so that we don't focus on that I yeah, just focus on these two points now D is my new point which which is being dilated just change the color yep see if the scale is zero my point is already at E because that is my center now if I increase the scale you can see what is happening look my point is coming closer to D so this trick we generally use look it's gonna go far away from D if my scale is more than one so this is this is the technique we use for creating animations